So a long time ago in the golden age of Hollywood, there was a famous couple, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, famous for dancing in the old movies, all this stuff. And uh, there's a well-known quote that Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards and in high heels. It was a well-known thing, just to point out, it was actually harder for her. He got all the credit, he got paid more. She had to do it all backwards and in high heels. So we're gonna do something similar in this problem. We calculated the change in potential energy, not the potential yet, potential energy going from A to B, okay? Now we're going to do this. We're gonna calculate it backwards. We're gonna go from B to A because that will really help us illustrate what's going on. I think it'll solidify it in your mind. And I'm going to do it in high heels, just, just to go all the way. You know, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna hold back and disappoint you. So I bought these this morning at a thrift store in Montrose. Nobody batted an eye. Let me see, get this one on without falling down. Let's see. All right, here we go. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna go from B to A. And again, we're calculating the change in potential energy. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. So now we're going to go a slightly different way. So let's not draw these ds's. That might change. And everything might change. We have our plus q now sitting here going that way from b to a. So what is the delta u? So delta u b to a as we said before, that's the final minus initial. So it's the energy at uh, A minus the energy at B, okay? And uh, that's equal to now a different work, okay? So before, we just let the charge go. We sat it here and let the E field push it from A to B. Now there's actually a slightly different situation. It's sitting here and it wants to fly away. We're not gonna let it. We're going to do external work. The agent that does external work has to push with an equal force to the electrostatic force and just a little bit more to make it move. But since it's an external agent doing work, the change in potential is positive. Before we had a negative here, now it's positive because it's not the system doing the work, external agent does work, that increases the energy, okay? So that's equal then to what? The integral from, in this case, B to A of F dot ds. And we can then say, okay, that's equal to the integral from B to A of the force. But what is the force? It's not just uh, QE. The force is against QE. The system applies the force Q times the E field that way. To make the external agent, to make it move, has to force apply force the other way. So a negative sign shows up in here, minus QE, there, dot ds, okay? So let's see, does that, do, do we think that's right? Well, this delta u had better go up. This thing had better be positive. This thing had better be positive. And it looks like it's negative, right? We have a negative sign right here. But guess what? E and ds are in a different direction now. So if you actually were to calculate the integral, you have E going this way, and you have ds going that way. So since they're opposite direction, this dot product will come out negative, it'll cancel that negative, and it will come out positive, okay? So now we have our two delta u's, and I'm gonna take these off because my calves are killing me. <laughs>